So now the fun begins. Now we can begin to build our collage from the three pictures that we took. So it's fairly simple. Um, <clears throat> and I'll start with the front on picture. And I'm just going to take an eye section. So if I hold down the Option key and scroll on my mouse, or the Alt key, <clears throat> I can zoom in. And then I will get the marquee tool, and you can see that it's got a little M. So if you hit the keyboard, M, it will pull up this tool. And I'm going to draw a rectangle. Now, while I'm still drawing, I haven't let go of the mouse yet, if I hold down the space bar, I can move the whole box to the point where I want to get it right, let go of the space bar, and then I can choose the spot that I want. <clears throat> the next step is simply to right click inside and say layer by copy. And then you can see I've got a little layer with an eye in it. I switch this off, there it is. Making sure that I'm on that new layer, I'll get the move tool, and you'll see that the, the quick way to get it is with the V. And I'm going to drag that up into the portrait collage. I'm still holding down the mouse, and then I'm going to let go the mouse on the piece of paper, and there it goes. So that's one piece. And that's really all there is to it, to then choose another piece. And I'm going to choose the marquee tool by hitting the keyboard M. Select a section, hold that space bar down again so that I can get the hair. Let go. Right click. Layer via copy. Aha! Uh -huh. So what have I done wrong? I'm on the eye layer and there's nothing there. So I must make sure that I'm on the full face layer before I do the right click. Layer via copy. Then I will hit the V key for the marquee tool. V. And I'll move that hair up into the portrait and let it go. And I'll do that for a few other bits. Maybe I'll get my nose now. So M for marquee. Mo nose and mouth and eyes maybe. Holding the space bar down, moving, boom. Click on the original layer, right click, layer via copy. Move tool with the V, and then I'm going to move that, drag it onto that tab, drop it in. So now I can begin to play with the composi composition. I've got a few pictures in there, so I can check on the nose mouth so I might actually name that so I'm going to double click and call it nose the next one that one turn the visibility on and off so you can see which one it is that's hair this will become very helpful as you get lots of layers on there boom boom so this is I Now I want the nose, I want to move that eye on top. So we do that by shifting the, the layers around. So I'm going to drag the nose layer underneath the eye layer. And now that eye layer is on top. And I'm going to make it bigger. So I can make a, a layer or an object on a layer bigger by choosing the edit menu, free transform. And then dragging 
from the corner to make it bigger and then clicking on the enter key to put it there. Then I can move the hair, click on the hair layer, move that. And we can begin to add in the different layers. So I'll speed the video up now so you can see my process, but quickly. So now we've got the finished product, almost. The next step is to add the shadows to create the interesting effect.